solve the problem C from the weekly contest 396. The problem is minimum length of anagram concatenation. So, after watching this video, if you have any doubts or whether it is small doubt or big doubt, any doubt you can ask in the comment section, I will try to help you. Do not hesitate to ask. Now, let us understand the question clearly. You are given a string S which is known to be a concatenation of anagrams of some string T return the minimum possible length of T. He is saying that he will give some string S and this string S can be formed by concatenation of anagrams of some string T. So, this T is my anagram not my S. T can be rearranged. An anagram is a word or a phrase formed by rearranging the letters. T can be rearranged but not my S. Now, most of you have done a small mistake by considering the GCDs. Now, let us see this uh, in this solution tab. Now, you can see a GCD solution do not work because the expected answer for this should be 4, should be 4 because if you are seeing this uh, A A uh, B B A B and A B. Now, you can only rearrange the substring T not the complete string S. Now, if you are going with length 2, if you are going with length 2 A A B B A B A B, you cannot form right, you cannot form. If you go with length 4, you have 2 S, you have 2 S 2 Bs. So, in this way you can say that you can form it, but if you go with other approach, you will, if you go with GCD approach, you are going to fail because my S is not rearranged, my S cannot be rearranged. If he is saying that my, my S can be rearranged, then you can go with GCD, then the, my answer can be A B, A B, A B, A B because S can be rearranged, but in the solution, in the question he has mentioned that only T can be rearranged. I think you understood it. So, let us try by yourself, after getting the solution try by yourself. So, I think you have tried for good amount of time. Now, let us understand the approach. Now, you are given some string T, some string T. So, after concatenation of T, you should form S, right? You should form S. That means, my S, length of S should percentile T should be 0, right? My length of string S and length of my T should be divisible. That means, suppose if you have 24, suppose consider my length is 24, you can go with 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. In this length only you can form. Suppose if you are forming with length 5, consider you are forming with length 5, then 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, you will reach to 24, you cannot form, right? 5, 5, 5, 5 and it should be 4, but it is saying that some string t, this t should be equal. So, you need to, what are this? These are all my factors, right? First, I will try to calculate all my divisors or factors. For 24, I will calculate all my factors, these are all my factors. For calculating this, so, I have uh, used chart GPT for this. So, I have asked chart GPT that 1 to 10 power 5, uh, which is my, ma uh, for which number I can find maximum number of divisors. So, it has given that for 7, 5, 6, double 0, it can have maximum of 192 divisors. So, maximum divisors I can form is 192, okay. I got this maximum, I can form 192. If you are, okay, 192 I am forming it. Now, let us see what exactly you can do. I will, I will, I will calculate all my factors, all my factors and I will iterate and I will iterate from 0 to consider my factor length is k, from 0 to k I will go, from 0 to k I will go. I will store this in a map, I will store this in a map. Then from k plus 1 to k plus 1 plus k, you will go till here, you will store in a map 2 and I will check my map 1 and map 2 are equal. If they are equal, I will say continue. If they are not equal, it will be break out. Then it will go from 1 k plus 1 plus k plus 1 to all this plus k. It will go till that length. So, every time it will go and I will check my map 1 and map 2. So, I think you have got it. What exactly we will be doing? Let us see the coding part. It is simple. First, we will calculate all the factors. i is equal to 1, i less than square root of n because you can see k is equal to n by you can go till n as well. Suppose if your n is long enough, then it is better to use square root because it will be computed in uh, square root of n times, square root of n. That means 10 power 5 by 2. So, it will be hardly 10 power 2.5, not exactly 2.5. We will calculate n percentile i is equal to 0, k is equal to n by n by i. If k is not equal to a, that means suppose if you are at 24, now you are encountering 2. My 24 
percentile 2 is equals to 0 and 24 divided by 2 is 12 and my 24 percentile 12 is equals to 0 right. So, we are doing the same k is equals to n by i this my k and i are not equal then we are pushing k and i. So, if it is my 2 then I will get 24 if it is 3 I will get 8 if it is 4 I will get 6. So, in this way we are pushing everything into the factors and we are sorting all my factors then I will iterating the factor size the factor size can be up to 196. So, you can say that it will be 10 square 10 square and I will iterate i is equals to 0 i less than answer mp1 s of i plus plus that means this is my first map and considering this as my answer is equals to factor length. Now, i is equals to answer i less than n we are incrementing i plus answer every time. So, we are iterating j is equals to i j less than i plus answer this is map 2. So, that means from 0 to consider length as 3 from 0 to 2 I will go from 3 to 5 then 6 to 8. So, 0 to 2 I am storing in map 1 and I am iterating 3 to 5 6 to 8 9 to 11 I am iterating all this and I am checking my this map 1 is equals to this all values this is my map 2. If any of these values are not equal I will say f is equals to 1 break or else my f is equals to 0. If f is equals to 0 finally, we are returning the answer with minimum value because we have sorted it. So, while sorting we will go from the small value to the bigger value. So, definitely at when one point you will get the answer. So, that answer we will return it. If we are not getting any answer directly we will return n because complete n can be my answer this can be my t, t can be directly formed with n. So, in this in this way we will solve this problem. Now, if you see analyze the time complexity this is 10 square this 10 square this are all doing 10 power 5. So, 10 power 2 into 10 power 5 it will be 10 power 7 and you can solve this right. So, and we are using extra space as order of n because we are using the factors vector. So, order of n extra space we are using it. I think you understood it what exactly we are doing how we are calculating the factors why we need to calculate the factors and what is t and t is the anagram not the s not the s. So, if you learn something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe. If you have any doubts whether it is a small doubt or big doubt you can ask in the comment section I will try to help you and I have created a whatsapp community you can join there for further discussions and you can connect with me on LinkedIn everything is given in the description. I will see you in the next video till then bye bye.